good afternoon dear students i hope that you're doing well uh, in previous lesson we discussed uh, about the significance of the topic white circle soc a novel written by jean rees and along with that we discussed about some of the major characters in the novel and they largely include rochester edward rochester in toynet mr mason richard mason and it Christophine, Aunt Cora, and Emily. Uh, after giving a slight description of these characters, we discussed part one of uh, the novel in which the story developed. And uh, we came to know how uh, the family of Intoinet was exterminated from Colbury, the place where they were living in. And uh, among these uh, racial tensions, how the family suffered greatly. And it was not only the racial tension, but also the short-sightedness of Mr. Mason that was responsible for the downfall of their uh, integrated family. So we discussed part one until we have the episode of Tia and Antoinette, in which Tia pelts a stone at Antoinette. And Antoinette, she, Antoinette realizes that uh, now it's time to segregate from her black childhood and start a new life as a Creole somewhere else. Uh, then in the uh, next section of part one, we come to know that uh, all of a sudden, we see that in Toynet falls six, sick or she becomes ill for six weeks. And when she opens up her eyes, she is at the place of Aunt Cora, who looks after her during this illness. And we also come to know that her brother has died and uh, her mother, Annette, has gone mad because of uh, the uh, brutal extermination plus the death of uh, her son. So she was uh, traumatic and she was uh, not able to uh, recognize anyone from her family. So when Annette uh, Antoinette, after getting up or reco after reco recovering from her disease, visits her mother, she does not recognize her. Rather, she pushes her away. So uh, uh, at the same time, Antoinette is sent to convent where she is patronized by kind nuns, although she was uh, bullied by some of the elders outside. But uh, Sandy, one of uh, her half-brothers, um, saves her from those uh, loafers. And she uh, goes into the convent weeping. and. Antoinette was comforted by nuns there, and she starts learning uh, the principles of Christianity. Uh, meanwhile, uh, her father, stepfather, Mr. Mason, sends her a gift because he cajoles him. Probably he has some plans for the future. So when she gets uh, 17, uh, Mr. Mason takes her away with him to socialize her so that she's... Uh, ready for marriage. So she is wedded uh, to an Englishman and the uh, couple goes on honeymoon to a place on an island that once belonged to her mother. So the amount is said Mr. Mason offers 30,000 pounds to uh, this Englishman, Edward, that we will later come to know, Edward, for marriage. So. Uh, Due to the greed of money, he accepts this marriage, although there is no understanding involved in this marriage. So uh, after marriage, Edward realizes that he does not know the person whom he has married. So uh, he feels uncomfortable and he is unable to adjust with the people uh, there. So uh, realizing this uh, indifference, uh, there develops a hostility between Christophine and Edward, and this, during this tension, 
um, Edward receives a letter from Daniel Causeway, who claims to be the illegitimate son of uh, Antoinette's father. And he reveals the secret history of madness of Antoinette's family. And he claims that the madness is uh, uh, inherited by Antoinette. And the whole family has trapped in Edward. Uh, and Edward is uh, an innocent person. So Daniel also asks him to meet him somewhere so that he exposes more to it. Uh, the rest of the discussion we are going to have in the next uh, slides that I'm going to share with you. And uh, till this point, I hope that you have uh, uh, you have an understanding of how the plot develops till part two of the novel. In part one, we have uh, the overall picture of Antoinette's family and the migration scene and the episode of Tia and Antoinette. And uh, the second part starts with the marriage of Edward and Tarnit. And we would see that how this marriage fails and Tarnit becomes a victim the way Bertha Mason was a victim by uh, Rochester in general. Thank you very much.